Good morning you guys and welcome to my channel. I have another thrift haul for you guys today but this one is home decor and I am so thrilled to be sharing with you what I found. I went to three different thrift stores this week. I know, I'm obsessed. But if you're new, you don't know. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kirsten Morabito. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Here's my Instagram handle. Go ahead and follow me over there as well. This video is going to be a home decor thrift haul. Then I'm going to share with you at the end of the video, so don't leave until the end. I'm going to share with you how I styled my pieces. Might help you get inspired to think outside the box when decorating your home. And I'm also going to be sharing throughout the video the top five home decor categories to shop at when you're thrifting. I hear a lot of times people tell me that they are very overwhelmed when it comes to thrift shopping, home decor, and so I'm going to share with you my favorite five things to look at when thrifting. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. All right, y'all, we have, um, a lot to share today so I'm gonna jump right into it the first category that I think you guys need to really look at when thrifting is baskets why because baskets for whatever reason are expensive when you go to the store like a Hobby Lobby even I'm not really sure why baskets are pricey but they are but when you thrift baskets they are super cheap and usually in pretty good condition so that is one of my favorite things to look at. So in my house right now, after undecorating from Christmas, it's very bare. And my normal home decor pieces are stored away in my garage because we're redoing our basement. And if you're into home renovation and seeing before and afters and how I decorate my whole entire new basement, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that because I have a lot of decorating to do in my near future. But the theme I want to go for my basement and now my entire house is just very clean, simple, um, more like wicker and wood and just natural really. Baskets. Lots and lots of baskets. And I also have a huge like um, laundry basket wicker thing but that's in Tommy's room and he's taking a nap and I'm not waking him up to take it out. So let's go over the baskets I did get starting with the biggest. So this is the first one. This is a really nice one. It's kind of a tray. It's nice and flat on the bottom. And I love having baskets like this. Just very multi-purpose. Um, you can use this as a centerpiece. You can, I've seen people do like wall decor with this where they hang a bunch of baskets on their wall. And yeah, I love just having baskets like this. <laughs> Next, I got one very similar, but it's in a round shape. And I adore this. I have a round kitchen table and this is a perfect centerpiece and I adore this one. This was $4.99 and I forgot to say this was $2.99. Okay, I got this little basket and I just thought it was a really unique kind of uh, design. I really love this and I used this in Lucy's room. I thought she could put her little crayons in here to put on her desk. I just really loved it and it was $2.99 for this. Okay, then I got this cute little guy. It's kind of a little tray, um, and I thought this would be perfect. I've been looking for something to go next to my sink to hold, like, my dish soap and, um, like, my dish soap and sponge and all that. And so this was a perfect little size and kind of matched the theme I'm going for. And this was $1.99. Very cheap for all of those baskets. Okay, so moving on to category number two that you want to look for is linens and tablecloths. And it's kind of the same thing as baskets. They can get really pricey at the store. When it comes to linens and tablecloths, it's always good to have a bunch of extra just on hand. And why buy brand new when you can buy thrifted ones for a dollar or two? I love looking at this section in the thrift store. And I got the cutest little tablecloth for my small round kitchen table and I don't know if you can tell but it has a ruffle detail at the bottom it's just very kind of like farmhouse chic French country I love this and it was a dollar 99 so that was really cheap for this there are no stains on it and this kind of falls into the same category of like tables um but I found a set of six Oh, you can see my ring light. <laughs> I found a set of six placemats here, and they're so cute. It was a set of six for $3.99, and they are super heavy duty. They have like um, cork on the back and really easy to like wipe off and clean. And it just says, eat, drink, bon appetit. And I thought it was very, you know, like that 
again, like French country, farmhouse type of vibe. And the funniest thing is, I honestly think these are my sister-in-law's because she moved and she donated a bunch of stuff to the thrift store. And I remember her having something very similar to this. So I texted her, I'm like, did I just buy your place mats? She's like, you might have, they might be mine. So anyway, I just adore these. I think they're really cute and they're gonna look cute on my kitchen table. So home decor category number three that you wanna look at is glass and wood products. The reason why you wanna look for glass and wood products is it's sustainable, it's gonna last longer, it's sturdier, they're usually in great condition, it's not plastic. I just love looking at the wood section and all of the glass stuff. So the first thing I found was this really cute vanity tray and it says stuff on it and it kind of reminds me of like that Ray Dunn style and it was $3.99 and I thought it'd be really cute in um, our bathroom off my bedroom and I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to put in here but I thought it was really adorable and goes with like my whole theme of my house. This next piece is more like Easter related, but I had to have it because it was brand new. And it's this little cutting board and it has a little bunny on it um, with a little cheese knife. And I'm not sure if I'll actually use this, but I think it'd be really cute to just put up on your kitchen countertop. And yeah, that was $3.99 too. So this next one is really funny to me because it's just not like a fun piece, but it's very practical and it's something I really needed. A paper towel holder. You guys, I've lived in my house for three and a half years, I think, and we never have had a paper towel holder. Like, we always just had the paper towel roll on the counter. Like, how ghetto is that? I don't know why. It's just one of those things that when I went to the store, I never thought about. Ever. I don't know why. But like I said, I really am trying to go for more light wood stuff. And yeah, they had this really plain Jane little wooden um, paper towel holder for... $2.99 and I was like yes I need you this was probably my favorite find because it was something I needed there you go okay the next piece is this cute little coffee sign who doesn't love a good little sign like this it was $1.99 and it says life happens coffee helps it is literally like the perfect size for the little tiny coffee bar area I have on my countertop perfect okay and this one my husband was like you seriously bought that <laughs> Um, it is a little wooden candlestick holder. Like, what am I going to do with one? I mean, I will find a spot for this. Trust me. Like, with a candlestick? I don't know. The funniest thing about this is my husband's like, somebody made this, like, in their high school woodworking class. And I'm like, they probably did, and I am honored to have it in my house. So, let's see the name on it. Gregory, I can't read the last name. Thank you so much for your hard work. I'm honored to have this in my house and I will find a spot for it. Okay, so category number four is floral. So we all know that fake floral is very expensive in the store, um, vases are very expensive, all of that. So check out the floral section at your thrift store. So what I found, first what I found was like a bunch of greenery and it was brand new for $3.99, which was a little high, um, but it was probably the same price I would have bought it in a store maybe. And I really liked this. It was just simple and it was exactly what I'm looking for. And so that was great. Then I found this little wicker vase and it perfect to put that in. And I just think that's so adorable. This was $1.99 and exactly what I'm trying to go for. And lastly for floral, I thought this was so cute. It's like a set of three milk jugs with a chicken wire um, little basket for it and so adorable and yeah this was a really cute find and it was $3.99. Category number five which is pictures and frames. So this is where you really can find good gem pieces. A lot of people give away their artwork and their fake nice heavy duty frames. If you can catch them on the half off sale at the thrift store you are scoring big. So I just found one little picture and it's gonna go in my bathroom right here off my bedroom. And it's kind of in like a, one of those like duck egg blue shades like on the wall. So I found this little picture for the wall and I have nothing floral. I have nothing on the walls in there actually. But I just thought this was really beautiful um, and it's just, it just has that just a pop of blue to kind of bring out the color of the walls. This is probably the most colorful piece 
in my, I have in my house. But I just thought it was really pretty and it was $4.99. Just think it'll make it a little bit more feminine and pretty. Whew, that was a lot, I know. But you guys, I only spent $60 on all of that. And that's not including a really big like laundry wicker basket that's in Tommy's room right now. So that's a lot of stuff. If you think about like how much I would have spent at a regular store, it would have been double the price. So I really want to inspire you guys to go out thrifting, to really find a joy in it. I get so excited when I get messages from you guys on Instagram telling me how much I've inspired you to thrift and how much you love it. That is my goal here. It's so good for our planet to buy secondhand and it's really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe because... I am doing a Valentine's date night inspired lookbook of thrifted items. So stay tuned for that. Hit the notification bell so you're notified. I want to say that video will be up either next week or the week after. So I'm so excited for that. So let's go ahead and go around my house and show you guys how I styled everything. We touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We 